Hey Tone, should I buy my own helmet? What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lama Football and that is a question I get constantly on here. It's, should I buy my own helmet? Now the, re the answers I always give kids are, for a lot of the questions I get asked are, I don't know enough information. They ask me generic questions. It's not enough to give information which I know can have a very big impact on you. So. I'm gonna try and break this question down in this video. Okay, so chances are if you want a new helmet, there has to be a reason why. So I'm gonna look at the why questions first. Probably because your current helmet is uncomfortable, your current helmet is old and you don't like it. Coming with old, it probably doesn't look that good. Or the one which is actually important is, do you feel safe in it? Now for the old, uncomfortable, and whack looking helmets, First, before you decide, I'm gonna go buy my new helmet, look at the level above you and the other players on the team that might be a little more senior and see what kind of helmets they're wearing. If you're all wearing the same helmets and you look at the next level of players for say your team or however it works, see what they're wearing. Because if you're all wearing the same helmet, it might be a good idea to get your own helmet. But if you see, if you just have to wait a year and you'll get the helmet that you're buying right now, except at a crazy discount because you're on the team, you need to weigh that into consideration. Now, the only one I'm actually concerned about though, if you're not gonna wait, is do you feel safe in the helmet? First off, if you don't feel safe, you can get the gyro tech padding. I will link it down below. It is a thing, a liner that goes inside your helmet, which can make it first a little bit more comfortable. Also, it adds another layer of protection for concussion prevention. Okay, so now that you've decided you want a new helmet, you have to look at a ton of different things. The first thing, obviously, is the brand. Now, if you're not familiar with a lot of brands, check out my helmets and face mask playlist because I have tons of different options and uh, reviews in there. Also check out the best lineman helmet. Again, we'll be in that playlist because there's a ton of different stuff, information that you need to consider before purchasing something very expensive. So there's a couple main things you need to look at. First off are the face mask options from the sites you're looking at. Do they have the face mask you want? Are they in stock? Uh, the other thing is color. Is it? Are you, you have to be able to verify that it will match your team colored helmet so it doesn't look off. You can be very close sometimes with reds, blues, oranges. You won't have an issue with white, black, but you also need to make sure you get the, uh, the finish right. If you get a matte black helmet instead of a satin black helmet or a satin instead of a gloss, it looks super out of place. So you need to match up the finish and the color perfectly. Also, as far as brand goes, you need to look at what the rest of the team is wearing. You probably want to stay with what the rest of the team is wearing in case you want to switch face masks with someone else and you kind of want to do a swap. So see what everyone else is wearing if they're not wearing something old and try and work with it that way so you still look like you're part of the team. Now for sites as far as looking at helmets, uh, the main ones you can go to their main sites like the Shut site, Zenith site, Riddell, Rydell site, whatever it's called. Uh, but you can also go to sportsunlimited.com, Dick's Sporting Goods, and East Bay. They all sell helmets as well. Okay, so the next thing you need to look at is budget. So once you finally find a brand you like, you'll have to pick the helmet you want based on the brand. So say if you're looking at Rydell, this Speed Helmet is a lot cheaper, uh, older version of the Speed Flex, which you guys have hopefully seen before. So one of the big factors is actually budget, which is why I don't like to answer these so broad to kids and say yes, no, yes, no. Because the amount of money you're putting into this, your return on investment can really vary. So as I said, there's a ton to take into this. Now, if you decide, yes, I want to go ahead and buy my own helmet or you want to get it as a uh, Christmas present, I'm going to give you guys a small pro tip. If you guys are still younger, I'm going to say go a size up if say you're wearing a medium right now and you're 14 and you want it to last, your parents want it to last years and years and years, what you should probably do is get is go one size up in the helmet, then really inflate all the padding in the side so it hits your fits your head now. But once your head gets a little bigger as you're growing up, it can grow into it and you can deflate the pad a little bit. Whereas if you buy the size you fit right now, you try to use it next year, you can only deflate those pads so much and it won't fit. Now if it is still a little too big when it gets here, uh, to your house even though it is fully inflated again you can always use the gyro padding as add that in as a second layer to help it give you a little bit more of a snug fit so really good pro tips to help you guys get the perfect fit as that is a very crucial part of a helmet i hope i gave you guys enough information to help you make an informed decision on this now keep in mind if you buy a helmet right now i don't know if it'll ship in time for christmas but you could try and see what happens. Late Christmas present is still a good Christmas present. So check it out. Uh, again, if you, if you guys like this video, please share it. Please like it as that is a big help to me. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks. Thanks.